We gotta get this boat ready for the next phase, building it out and painting. <laughs> took a long time to get on the hard. It did. <laughs> it took a long time to get this boat on the hard. You are absolutely right. I appreciate the loaner ladder. This is number three, Phillips said. Number three, stainless screws. We'll try to save them. Try to save them. Ooh, that's spinning. Hell, it's not even attached to that. I don't need to work on that. <laughs> It's not, I thought it was, it's not, it's not like this one. Oh, well, that's, that's interesting. I don't guess these are going to come out willingly. Ooh, I got a feeling that one's broken. Mm, I wonder if those are just spinning on the nut inside of that's probably more likely. We're about to bring the hatchet out of retirement. I was just looking at something here. The hatchet might be appropriate, actually. Remove this thing in pieces. Look at that. I can get a flat bar in there and pop these things loose. Let's go take them apart piece by piece. Do I need to use the hatchet? No. Do I want to use the hatchet? Let's see how soft this wood is. It's pretty rotted. So just let me get up closer to those fittings and put more leverage on them when I'm trying to take the screws out of the brackets underneath it. Yeah, I'd say that teak's probably no good. I mean, I'm not an expert or anything. I can't find a pair of pliers and I'm, I'm not climbing up in a boat for them, I'll tell you that. See ya. Never use a crescent wrench for a pry bar. <laughs> All right. Return of the five-in-one tool. Glad to see you on the project again. An effective tool as usual. There we go. Oh, it's heavy. There we go. All right, we're getting somewhere. Still plenty of red paint under there. Although it's getting to the end of it. Might even get down to the gel coat. Sand it out, put a barrier coat down. Woo! Oh, damn. Oh, I hit my head on that. Oh. Doesn't hurt so much here or here. Mostly like here. Are you sure there's nothing like no? Okay, if you say so. I don't think there'll be any water in here, right? Not in a boat like this. Couldn't be any water in the bilge. You need a breaker bar on it. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Trust the old rope. Here, more water getting in a. That's the original Sea Ray blender. It's all going in the trash since nobody said they wanted it. That's quality. Quality video right there, sir. <laughs> yes. Ah, goodbye, shag carpet. Whew, seventy five pounds of it.
Please do not put anything into the head unless you've eaten it first. That's pretty good advice. This is like taking the boat apart all over again. Each piece I pull out of here reminds me of what it took to get it out of there. Oh, oh the shower door. Goodbye. We had many showers together. Stopped by the local senior citizens joint and got me some help. Sorry, Dad. That's a significant pile of trash right there. Why'd you buy a kidnapper van, they said. Well, that's why I bought a kidnapper van. Let's go to the dump. And here, with views of this beautiful vista, the final resting place of the interior of my 1980 Sea Ray. Oh, it was 6,600 when I came into the dump. 5840 now on the way out. Load number two in the Fatmobile. All right, get it all unloaded. I'll watch. I'll take good video of you unloading the... Never mind. I... I'm so sorry it had to end this way, but it had to go. It all had to go.